All right. Good afternoon. My name is Dele Dele Aimibo, and this is Import Export Platform Facebook Live from Three Team Pest Trade Academy. I'll continue from where we stop in discussing letter of credit. Remember, letter of credit is an undertaking of the buyer's bank, given to the seller, giving assurance of payment when shipment is made, and documents are presented that conform to the terms and condition of letter of credit. Letter of credit is, a, is an undertaking of the buyer's bank, given to the seller, giving assurance of payment when shipment is made, and documents are presented that conform to the terms and condition of letter of credit. What that basically means is that as an exporter who is shipping goods out of Nigeria to an international destination, you can get someone to guarantee your payment. You can get someone to guarantee your payment. And when this guarantee is issued for you, what the guarantee basically give, um, gives to you is it ensures that you are able to ship with peace of mind. You are able to ship without having to worry about the fact that will I get paid, will I not get paid? What if when the buyer does not pay? In this case, you are not looking at the risk of the buyer again. You are looking at the risk of the buyer's bank. The only thing that can make you to begin to worry in this kind of transaction is that the buyer's bank might not be able to pay because of economic issue or political issue. If there is a sovereign risk in the country that makes it that might make it difficult for a buyer's bank not to be able to pay, when we're discussing the type of letter of credit, I already said that what you need to do is to look for another bank in another country to give you additional undertaking. And I talk about the fact that that kind of arrangement is called that kind of arrangement is called um, confirm letter of credit. Confirm letter of credit. When I have to get another bank in another country giving additional undertaking, that has led to the concept called confirmed letter of credit so it's very important for you to understand the concept of confirmation you know some people have seen confirmed letter of credit as when a bank receive your letter of credit and give it to you and stamp it <laughs> some people say that's confirmed confirmation <laughs> Those are, those are some things you hear and uh, you see from some Nigerians or some individuals and you know that, okay, look, obviously this person does not even understand exactly what we meant, when you, what you mean when you talk about the concept of confirmation. So it's very important you have a good idea of the concept of confirmation. You know exactly what it means to confirm a letter of credit. A letter of credit confirmation is that two banks are giving undertaking. That means... A bank in the buyer's country plus another bank in another jurisdiction. And both of them are giving undertaking. When you have such arrangement where different banks in different countries are giving undertaking, that led to the concept of confirmed letter of credit. And the whole idea here is I have a concern. And my concern is that the bank where my buyer reside will not be able to do what I want them to do in the sense that they are incapacitated as a result of the economy where they operate. And we've talked about that. Now, what I will be focusing on today is going to be um, a type of, uh, um, a, sorry, the debts involved in letter of credit the dates involved in letter of credit. Let me go through what we've discussed already. We've discussed about letter of credit, different types of letter of credit. We've discussed revocable and irrevocable letter of credit. We've discussed um, users and side letter of credit. Users and side letter of credit. Users and side letter of credit. We've discussed red clause and green clause letter of credit. Red clause and green clause letter of credit. We've discussed um, red cross and green letter of credit. We've discussed confirmed and unconfirmed letter of credit. And we've discussed back to back and transferable letter of credit. Back to back and transferable letter of credit. Now, having discussed all those type of letter of credit, the next thing I want to talk about today is about important dates in a typical letter of credit transaction. Important dates 
in a typical letter of credit transaction. And this is very, very important. Important dates in a typical letter of credit transaction. What are the important dates? There are about five dates I'll be talking about. Date number one is called issuance date. Issuance date. Issuance date. Date number one is called issuance date. What's issuance date? Issuance date is the date that the LC. Issuance date is the date that the LC become available for presentation and payment. Issuance date is the date that the letter of credit become available for presentation and payment. Issuance date is the date that letter of credit have become available for presentation and payment. That is issuance date. Issuance date. Issuance date. Now, that means I cannot say I have a letter of credit until, until, until it is issued. Because the way that I've got to work is such that immediately it is issued, the issuer become irrevocable, the issuer become the this that instrument become a binding undertaking of the issuer. A binding undertaking of the issuer. Immediately a letter of credit is issued, it becomes a binding undertaking of the issuer. And this is very important. It becomes a binding undertaking of the issuer. What does binding undertaking of the issuer mean? It means that the issuer becomes obligated. If currently in Nigeria, the time is about 2 p.m. or about 10 minutes to 2 p.m., if letter of credit is issued now, in the next minute, the issuer become it becomes binding on the issuer as of the time it was issued. It becomes binding on the issuer as of the time it was issued. If you issue it now, the next minute, if someone presents document, it become, you, are, you become obligated to pay. It becomes a binding undertaking of the issuer upon, is, uh, 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 upon issue. So immediately you issue a letter of credit, it becomes binding. Binding means the party that issue it, we have to pay if its document is presented. And that's very important because that's the time that it starts running. It starts running. I often advise bankers because if a bank is going to present a fund and a letter of credit transaction, my advice to constant advice to banker is don't tell the party in question to issue that letter of credit before you make provision for payment. So, for example, as an exporter, the, if you issue a letter of credit today, there's another date I want to talk about. That date is called latest date of shipment. So, between the time the letter of credit is issued and the date you are expected to ship, typically, some will give you one month, some will give you two months, some will even give you three months. So, my advice to banker is, until the letter of credit is and the bank is ready to make funds available. Don't tell an exporter to go ahead and give you a, an issued letter of credit. You know why? So if I want to export a particular item and I need funding from the bank, and my, my buyer will give me a, about two weeks or one month to ship, and the bank is saying, guy, before I give you this letter of credit, you need to provide me your letter. Of, before I give you this and loan, you need to provide me your letter of credit. You know the challenge that, that we have? The challenge that poses on the exporter is that the bank is not likely going to issue, make that fund available immediately. The bank is not likely going to make that fund available immediately. The bank might take about one month to make the fund available. So you know what the challenge will be for you? You will now be unable to ship before the end. So LC issued June 1. Expiry of the LC, June 30th. You have 30 days for shipment. 
If the LC is issued, the challenge is that when you now give the LC to the bank and the bank starts the process of giving you loan, it, be, it most likely that loan might take some days. Most likely that loan might take some days. If that loan takes some days, weeks or some months, the challenge you will face is that it will become very, very difficult for you to be able to meet up. Why? The bank gave the loan June 25. You apply on June 2nd. Because the bank started the process June 2nd. So it took the bank three weeks to give you that loan. You now have one week to ship. If it's the Nigerian port that I know, it's not likely you'll meet up. <laughs> it's not likely you'll meet up. Not because you don't want to meet up, but because the bank put, has put you in a situation that makes it difficult for you to meet up. So my advice is, an exporter should not tell the buyer to issue the LC at the beginning. What you should do is to tell the bank to make do with the letter of credit draft. With that draft, it becomes a lot easier for the bank to be able to start the processing. Having started the processing, immediately they are ready to give you the money. They should make the issued letter of credit one of the conditions precedent to draw down. They should make the issued letter of credit one of the conditions precedent to draw down. Why? So that by the time your exporter, your buyer now issued a letter of credit, immediate letter of credit is issued. Immediate letter of credit is issued. And you present it to the bank. Within two, three days, you are credited for you to start using the money to do what you want to use it for. If that is not what you did, I'm sorry. I'm very, very, very sorry. You will not be able to meet up. Because the bank will take a while. So what I tell banker is, what would then happen is that the bank will now ensure that the draft you gave that formed the basis for giving you the loan, that issued LC and the draft should be same word for word. That issued LC and the draft should be same word for word. The only difference between them should be the date of issuance and the date of shipment and the date of expiry, which is still the same period, only that the date has changed. But see the same period, 30 days, 60 days, depending on what you agree before. So first most critical date in letter of credit is date of issuance. That is the date that the LC ceases, sorry, become available for presentation. Please note, please note, that a letter of credit dates are usually written like Arabic. When you see a letter of credit, it's written like Arabic. What do I mean by that? You read the date from the right to the left. You read the date of a letter of credit from the right to the left. You read the dates of a letter of credit from the right to the left. What does that mean? That means that if the date is today now, for example, it will be 0609-0619. Reading from left to right. If I read from right to left, it will be 19. 0609 Letter of credit is read from right to left. A letter of credit date is read from right to left. It's to be read from right to left. If you read it the other way around, you'll make a mistake. So when I say an issue date, that is the date that the LC become available for payment. The next date I mentioned was the date for shipment, latest date of shipment. That is the date that the LC says good must be shipped. Remember the definition of letter of credit. Letter of credit is an undertaking of the buyer's bank given to the seller, 
giving assurance of payment when shipment is made and documents are presented that conform to the terms and conditions of the letter of credit. Letter of credit is an obligation of the buyer's bank, it's an undertaking rather, of the buyer's bank given to the seller, which gives assurance of payment when shipment is made and document, the shipping document, the shipping document that evidence shipment of goods. The shipping document that evidence shipment of goods. The shipping, when good shipping, um, 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 shipment is made and document are presented when shipment is made and document are presented that conforms to the terms and condition of the letter of credit. That conforms to the terms and conditions of the letter of credit. That conforms to the terms of the letter of credit. So the letter of credit says latest date of shipment is June 30. And you shipped on June. Sorry, if you say letter of shipment is July 1. And you shipped on July 2. I'm sorry. You have not performed on that LC. You know, the beauty of LC or the challenge of LC is that you might have shipped the goods, right quality, right quantity, and you might not get paid. Not because you ship rubbish, but because you have failed to conform to the terms and conditions of a letter of credit. But because you have failed to conform to the terms and conditions of a letter of credit. Because you have failed to conform. And what was the term in this case? Ship the goods on or before July 1. You went ahead and shipped the goods July 2nd. The bill of lading presented, the shipping document presented, evidence that the good was shipped July 2nd as insignificant, minor, that might seem to you or look to you. That could be the basis for not getting paid. As insignificant, that issue might be to you, might seem to you. That might become the basis of not getting paid. That might become the basis of not getting paid. This is so critical and so important. This is so critical and so important. So when you are trying to chase letter of credit, that's good, that's great, that's lovely, that's nice, that's okay, that's interesting. If you can get it, take it. But with that protection and security of payment comes amazing responsibility. And you know what I discovered? Most people are not prepared for that responsibility. Most people are not equipped for that responsibility. Most people do not understand the implication of that responsibility. So you know what happened? They get worried, sad, when they have delayed payment. The payment is secure, no doubt. But the payment is not just secured. The payment is not just secured. You also have a part to play. You need to cross your T's and dot your I's. You need to cross your T's and dot your I's. You need to cross your T's and dot your I's. Every terms and conditions stated in the credit must be strictly adhered to. Every terms and conditions stated in the credit must be strictly adhered to. If there is a term or condition still in the credit, you had better adhere to it. That means you need to reach through it. Field 46, check all the documents they told you to, to use. Field 40, 48 and 78, check all the conditions. Check it with the bank. You know, sometimes you are given a letter of credit and you don't even know the implication of the terms and conditions of that letter of credit. Why? ignorance like i like to say that ignorance is a gift my mentor will say ignorance is a gift you know why it's a gift it keeps you humble to know what you don't know and then go and learn it so it's a gift nobody knows it all 
Everybody depends on everybody to be able to achieve everything. And that is what makes us humans. Nobody knows it all. So as much as possible, you must try to learn. As much as possible, you must try to learn. You don't know how important this is. I'm stressing this because people have had letter of credit and have had issue with it and believe that, uh-uh, it's a letter of credit now. Payment is guaranteed now. So how come? How come that I'm not getting paid? Or how come my payment is delayed? Sorry, that payment is delayed because of a terms and condition on letter of credit that you have failed to fulfill. And if you fail to fulfill the expected terms and condition on a letter of credit, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm trying to see someone's comment online. If you fail to fulfill those uh, terms and conditions, I'm sorry, that will be a challenge. That will pose a challenge to you getting paid on that transaction. So date number one, date of issuance of letter of credit. Date number two is the date of um, latest date of shipment. Number three, latest date of presentation. Latest date of presentation. Now, after I have shipped, if I want to get paid, I'm supposed to send document to the bank. The buyer needs this document as soon as possible. Because he needs to clear the goods. He needs to ensure the goods move out of the port on time. That means he has to get documents on time. Especially in countries where clearing process is a bit tough like Nigeria. So that latest date of presentation, you see this hundred, that's the rule guide letter of credit says, it has to be 21 calendar days after shipment. If I ship, for example, June 30, remember I'm supposed to ship later by July 1. If I now ship June 30, 30 plus 21, June 30 plus 31 will be July 21. July 21. That means I need to ensure, I need to ensure that the shipping document, bill of lading or airway bill, invoice, parking list, all these documents must arrive. All these documents must arrive. All these documents must arrive at the bank nominated by the buyer's bank to collect document from you in 21 calendar days after shipment. 21 calendar days for me is even long. If you really need your goods to be shipped on time. Oh, yes. Someone said, exporters... 50% of exporters we have challenge with letter of credit in Nigeria because of traffic congestion. I agree with you. But the port has been cleared now. During the madness at the port that we have a lot of congestion. Okay, so yeah. Of course, a lot of people miss their deadline. I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. You know, because of a lot of people lost business opportunity. A lot of people disappointed their buyer. A lot of people are not able to meet up with their obligation during the, uh, the, 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 in the last two years when the port access road was very bad. In the last two years when the port access road was very bad. But that is a thing of the past now. They've been cleared and it's a lot, lot better now. So, uh, okay, so yeah, Shegun, it's not as risky as it used to be. It's not as risky as it used to be. You can get to the port on time now. You, you can, if you leave Ikorodu today, you can get to Apapa today. It's not like before that. If you look at Ikorodu today, you will not get to Apapa. <laughs> In December, I had a shipment that spent almost a month between Ikorodu and Apapa. And then we started the idea of shipping by sea, by water, moving the good on water using barge. Using the, moving the good on water using barge. Okay, let me come back to my conversation. So, latest date of presentation, document must be presented within 21 calendar days. Then the other date is termination. Termination. Letter of credit is terminated in three ways. Three ways. Number one, letter of credit is terminated, number one, through expiry of the LC. Maybe the LC was issued, like we said, June 1, and then it expired July 31. So, about 60 days 
termination. By expiry, a letter of credit can be terminated with the full utilization of the LC value. So a letter of credit is $100,000. We have shipped 50, we shipped 25, and we shipped another 25. Immediately, you have fully drawn on the LC, it's terminated, even if it has not expired. And lastly, a letter of credit is terminated via a release, a written, on, a written letter written by the exporter and agreed to by the importer's bank, or written by the importer and agreed to by the exporter. Because it's irrevocable, if you write termination, I must agree to it. So those are the three ways in which of credit are terminated. Lastly on date is maturity. Maturity, you will not always find it. Those four days, you will find them. Issuance, presentation, shipment, and termination, expiry. You will find all those dates on the letter of credit. But you will not find ex, um, maturity on letter of credit. Why? A letter of credit that has a maturity date is a tenure letter of credit. Remember, so letter of credit has side. If it's side, that means within five days of received document, the bank will pay. Within five days, the bank will pay. If the bank is going to pay within five days of receiving document, that means if the bank is going to pay within five days of receiving document, that means the bank um, is paying a site. Is paying a site. But if he's going to pay in future, even though he has incurred the undertaking now, they pay at maturity. Let me come back to expiry date. Expiry date of an LC does not have anything to do with payment. People mistake, misconstrue expiry. A letter of credit might have expired, but payment is still due. A letter of credit might have expired, but examination is still going on. What I mean by this is this. A letter of credit, when issued and given expiry date, that expiry date is in relation to presentation of document, not in relation to payment, not in relation to document examination. The expiry of a letter of credit is as it relates to presentation of document does not have anything to do with examination of document, does not have anything to do with payment. That means if I ship my goods, present document to the buyers, and that document gets to the bank nominated by the buyer before expiry, and my document is compliant, even if the LC have expired by the time it gets to the destination, but the nominated bank already confirmed, the bank already confirmed, as long as it gets to the nominated bank before expiry, even if it has not gotten to the bank that issued it, but it's gotten to the bank, like if I'm exporting now, nominated bank can be a Nigerian bank that I'm going to give that document to, who will send it to the issuer in China or in Europe, or in America or in, on, on Europe. If, even if I've not, the document has not arrived at the issuer, but it has expired. Expiration means expiration. Expiration means expiration. Expiration means it has expired, but it doesn't affect my payment. If it expires before the document arrives, they won't accept it. They will reject it. But if it expires after I've given the document, it won't affect the five days the bank has to pay to examine the document and pay. So please know that expired of an LC is as related to presentation of document, not as related to payment and examination. Thank you very much for listening today again. My name is Dela Yimib and this is Import Export Platform Facebook Live from 3 Team Press Academy. Remember this video, go on YouTube channel, 3 Team Press uh, TV on YouTube. If you search 3 Team Press, figure 3, then T-I-M-P-E-X, X as in Xmas, you will see our videos on YouTube. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, share the video, um, click on the notification bell and drop your comment. Thank you very much. See you later in the day. That should be around 8 p.m. I hope I'll be able to have that tonight. We're likely to go to the letter of credit this week, maybe tomorrow, but we're going to be concluding. Uh, we'll be discussing the fundamental principles of letter of credit when we meet in the evening. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend.